Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the brand new video. This is New Tech Begins here. And in this video we are going to install an update of Lineage OS 16.0. I'm going to show you how you can uh, update with the updater of Lineage OS. So you basically what you need to do is to go to settings and you want to scroll down to system. Click once on advanced. And here you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see updater. Updated to Android 9, as you can see, if you click that once, then it will propose you which uh, the actual version is so at this moment we are on Android 9 of March 16 but as you can see here there is a latest update available of March 20 so if it's not appearing you want to go ahead and tap on the refresh button right there all right so once you have these updates listed we will obviously choose the latest one go ahead and press it once and as you can see it will download the update all right okay so what you need to know uh, this update file is placed into a directory which is called data subdirectory lineage OS updates. So that is the place where, uh, where it puts the file. So now if we tap on install, normally it should install automatically, but, it, but let's see if it gives an error and we will fix that error and we'll show you how to do that. So. I'm going to go ahead and tap on install. All right, so it says uh, apply the update. You are about to upgrade to Lineage OS 16. This version is of March 20, 2019. Press OK and your device will restart into recovery mode to install the update. So the feature requires a compatible recovery or updates will need to be installed manually. Okay, in our, our case, we are using twerp recovery, uh, which is compatible with, uh, with this updater. So we're going to go ahead and try OK. Let it do his thing. Let's see what will happen. As you can see, it will automatically reboot the system. And then it will show us the twerp recovery. Let's see if it installs automatically. As you can see a twerp. No, as you can see, it just drops into the menu. So the installation did not go as planned. You can check it by pressing this third option here. And as you can see, it gives error 7. It could not install the update. Error install installing the zip file. So there is a solution for that. Just bear with me one second. And we are going to, uh, to solve it. The first thing you need to do is to attach to the USB Type-C cable. I'm going to go ahead and go to our phone to advanced. File Manager, you want to go ahead and go to Data, Subdirectory, Lineage OS Updates. As you can see, this is the update which he downloaded and which gave error 7. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the download folder. So copy the file and then we go to SD cards to download right here and tap on the on that option and press to confirm to copy the file file operation complete all right so it has copied the file into 
download so if we go into our download folder we can see here that it indeed has downloaded the file of 20 March 2019 so let's go ahead and let's copy it into our to a folder which we call loss 16 I'm using the one plus three T here but you may want also to to use it on another phone anyways we are going to copy and paste it into our loss 16 op 3 t directory on our computer and then we are going to modify the file with notepad plus plus so first of all we are going to extract this file right here as you can see that will give us those files I'm going to go ahead and go to metainf com google android and here we have an updater script right click on updater script go to edit with notepad and as you can see here so you want to go ahead and remove the five lines so let's remove them by pressing delete and delete once again so the first line will be ui underscore print so now we are going to save this file and quit the editor all right so now we're going back 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 all right once we are here in this directory we are going to rezip the file back into the same name first we're going to rename the original one into backup so we know this is the backup and we are going to rezip all the files back into uh, archive and we're going to choose zip uh, let's uh, rename it into the same file without bu all right and I'm gonna go ahead and tap on ok all right now it's compressing all the files into a new new file which is exactly what we want as it is this file here all right so now we are going to recopy this file back to our phone. Um, let me just remove first this file here. All right, and copy it right into the download folder. All right. Now we are going back to our phone. Okay, so now first we have to recopy the file back into the download directory. Where okay, so what we need to do is to go to okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Advanced File Manager, Data, because um, there's still the old one here. This one here, Linux OS updates. I'm gonna remove this one and delete the file and now we're gonna go back and reboot the correct one go to file manager again let's go to the SD card and download and here is our file which we modified tap on it copy the file and put that one into data subdirectory Lineage OS updates. There you go. And tap on here. Swipe to confirm. So now we are going to copy the new file on there. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and reboot the system. Let's try and update again.
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to settings. Then you will tap on about the phono system. And then you go to advanced. Then you wanna go to updater. Now we tap on install again. Of March 20, 2019. Okay. And let's see what will happen now if it will install automatically. Preparing to update. It will reboot automatically into TWERP recovery. This is normal when your bootloader is unlocked. All right, there we have TWERP recovery and now it will install the update. So it took the five, it took the file which we corrected, which we modified and now as you can see, it will continue the installation. guys almost finished patching the system image unconditionally script succeeded mounting the system oh we forgot something very important that was to um, oh, to do the thing Right, it will reboot automatically now. Let's see if it boots into the system. See what will happen. Alright guys, so let's check now here, it's finishing the system update as you can see, it's doing all automatically. Alright, so now let's check in settings, let's see now in about the phone. And I want to go ahead and go to Android version. So now here we have installed, as you can see, the version of 20 March 2019, nightly one plus three. This one is fresh from the oven. The security patch, it stays on March 5th, March 2019 and yeah that was basically it so in this video you saw 
how we can update LineageOS with the LineageOS updater, which can be found in system. When you tap there, you want to go ahead and check the refresh button once in a while to see if there are new updates. After that you have updated, you can also delete the file so that you will uh, have more space. So um, I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, hit that like button and later I'm going to upload more videos. For now, I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Stay well and adios. Hey, baby, but you know